So today we will build a synthesizer inspired by the new Moog Mavis. I will use only three available modules so all of you can follow along and I will put a selection file in the description so you can download it and load it into your patches via the import selection in the file menu. This can work really nicely in a DAW as well. If you have VCV Pro, you can just load this into a new track and create all sorts of crazy sounds with it. So first of all, we will use the VCV VCO and Mavis has also a cross fader control, right? To cross fade between a saw and a pulse. So we will use the new fade module from a VCV. Right, input one will be the saw wave, input two will be the square or the pulse. So we can cross fade between those two waves. Let's tag this also just so it's easier to see what's going on. This will be VCO wave. Now, this will go to a low pass ladder filter. So we will use lateralus from Volt. Output one will go to the input of lateralus. We will need also a VCA. And we will use the 24 dB output. So we have a four pole low pass ladder filter. Now to control the VCA, we will use an ADSR module. The envelope output will go to the CV input of the VCA and this will go to the main output. Let's also use a keyboard so we can play this voice. I will use my MIDI keyboard, but of course you can use also a sequencer or a, your computer keyboard if you want. So I will use the MIDI module, the MIDI to CV, and I will select, in my case, it's the key step. Now the volt per octave will go to the volt per octave of the oscillator and the gate will gate the envelope and we can play this voice. Right, we have a filter. And we can again cross fade between a saw and a square or a pulse. By the way, if you are not fully comfortable with what VCAs are, what's volt per octave, filters, ADSR, and so on, I have a series of videos all about the basics of synthesis in the modular environment, so if you are interested, links in the description. Now let's take this a few steps further. So first of all, there are two controls to modify pitch. Right, we have keyboard scale and we have glide. So in VCV, we will use leakage from Volt. All we have to do is just send the Volt per octave through it and back to the oscillator. And now we have glide with the rate control. And we can change the scale with the range and offset. Let's take this also. We can have here, for example, scale. And here, for example, glide, just so we know what is what. Now let's add more modulation. I will use the VCV LFO. We'll put it here down. Also here we can cross fade between two waves. In this case we have a triangle and another square or a pulse. So I will use another cross fade module. Input one will be the triangle. This will be a green cable. I'm using a color coding, by the way, so modulation is green. And input two will be square or pulse. And now there are three different uh, destinations to the LFO. We have the pitch mode amount, so pitch modulation. We have pulse width modulation. And we have the cutoff of the filter. But as you can see, there is another crossfader to crossfade between the LFO and the envelope. Right here, you can see envelope generator LFO, envelope generator LFO. So we need two more fade modules, one and two. One we will tag VCO mod um, mix. 
And the other one, we will tag VCF mod mix. Let's also tag this LFO, LFO wave, just so we know exactly what is what. Now, the LFO from output one will go to both inputs, um, input one of the fade modules, and the envelope will go to input two, right? So again, we can cross fade, we can cross fade the LFO between triangle and square, and we can cross fade between the modulation if you want the LFO or a mix of the LFO and the envelope or just the envelope. Right, and now we have the VCO mod mix that will go to the FM, uh, FM input of the VCO, right, to modulate the pitch and to the PWM, to the pulse width modulation. And the VCF mod mix will go to the CV input of the cutoff control of the filter. And now we can start adding some modulation. Right, this for example is now just the LFO. Right, or we can cross fade, let's add right, a bit of square and let's cross fade a bit with the envelope. So now the envelope and the LFO will modulate the cutoff of the filter. We can add also some FM. Right, so we can add modulation, we can crossfade between the modulation shapes, if it's an envelope or just an LFO or two different waves of the LFO. Now, Mavis has also a wave folder, just here with the fold in input. I will add also a wave folder and actually I will add a wave shaper. So there are a few more possibilities to shape the sound. And this will be with Wolf from Volt. Now the wave folder will not work by default, but you have to patch something into it first, and then it will bypass the oscillator. So for this, we will use a switch. Maybe I will zoom in a bit. I will use this switch here from Bog Audio. Right, the oscillator will go to one input of this switch. The folder, the output of the folder will go to the second input of the switch and the output will go back to the filter. Again, if we connect something to the fold, <clears throat> sorry, to the fold, it will bypass the oscillator and will go directly to the filter. So with the switch, we can make this connection. Right now here, if I want to switch and I click the button, you can see that it's just jumping back to the second input. It will not latch, so we have to turn on latch. And now it will just switch between the different inputs right and now for example we can use the vco through the folder so if i connect the oscillator to the folder and i switch to the um, folder switch now the uh, fold wolf will go to the filter Right, or we can uh, patch the LFO at audio rates. Right, so I'm going from the LFO wave output and now take this to audio rates. Right, we can also tune this. For example, if I right click the frequency knob and I uh, enter C3, it will be tuned to C3. Right, and now we can use the pitch from the keyboard. If I send the pitch information to the FM input and open the attenuverter all the way, it will follow one volt per octave. Now it's also modulating the filter at audio rates. Let's add a bit more envelope.
Now let's add the sample and hold. So we will use the random module from VCV, which is basically a sample and hold module. Now by default, it will be triggered by the LFO. So I'm going to connect the LFO. Of course, let's take this out of audio rates and switch back to the oscillator. Of course, you can use any other trigger if you're using a sequencer or a clock or something, you can just patch this differently. And by default, it will also sample the VCO right so the input will come from the vco wave it can sample the so it can sample the square um, and also here you can use a different signal or you can just leave this unpatched and it will sample um, built-in internal noise now let's add also the mixer i'm just going to use the cv mix another new module from vcv just uh, if you want to mix signals and offset them and stuff like this and we have also the VCA switch, this one here, the VCA mode. So you can choose to use the envelope generator or you can switch to have it always on. Right, so I'm going to use here another switch, another one from Bog Audio. The envelope will go, opala, <laughs> the envelope will go to one input, the output will go back to the VCA. Again, we have to turn on latch right and for the offset i'm just going to use the offset module from borg audio connect this to the second input to the second input of this switch and take the offset all the way up right so now we can switch between the envelope or the offset Right, let's bring back also the volt per octave to the oscillator. Very nice. Now let's take this VCA mode again, just so we know what's going on. And that was it, more or less. That's Mavis. Um, I left a few things out like the mult, there is no need for a mult in VCV, but all the fun stuff is here. Of course, now you can add to it, patch it differently, experiment with the setup, use different modules, um, but it's quite interesting to see how it works and how the signal flow looks like. I'm going to add some effects and additional voices to this and play around a bit. Thanks again and see you on the other side.